Welcome to another DCSD On Demand video tutorial. This is Liz Walhoff from the Cantrell Building in Douglas County School District. In this video tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make a Google Drawing. It's essentially making a graphic organizer or a flowchart using Google Docs. So to begin, I'm here on my Docs homepage. I click on the upper left where it says Create New, and from the drop-down menu, I choose Drawing. You'll see that a checkered page appears. As with all Google Apps, I can title it just up here in the upper left. So I'm going to call this Sample Drawing. Over here next to the title is where I can change who owns it, who can collaborate with me on this graphic organizer. That's what makes this Google Drawing a little bit different than, for example, my Webspiration, where you can create a a uh, graphic organizer also might be a little easier in some way and they have some great templates but what makes this that a little bit more difficult is that for people to be able to collaborate with you they also have to have a My Webspiration account and fewer people in our, in our district, at least in Douglas County District, have My Webspiration accounts where most people, most staff certainly, and many students at this point have Google accounts. So if you wanted to share it you could click here and change it so that anybody with the link could edit it or just people in the Douglas County School District or you could say cancel and you could enter people by their names. Sharing aside, let me pull this back a little bit. How do you make a drawing? Up here in the upper left are your tools. Very simple if you've ever used inspiration or anything similar. You can grab it write what you're going to write. It is important that you read the little dialog boxes that come up because when I double click it says here with the hint use shift enter for multiple lines. They really do mean that. So I'm going to put in some information. Sample box. Holding shift and enter I can get some spaces. All right. One of the things I wanted to show you is that when I hit enter, you'll notice that my box does not grow to accommodate the amount of text that I have. So I have a couple of options here. I can go back, highlight my text, and change it to a smaller font. If that doesn't work without the font being so small that it's illegible, let me switch back to 12 point. I can also click on the box, hit enter to get out of my my typing space. Just click on the box, drag it, and that will increase the size. Then if I want to add something else, I would return back here another shape, choose that, and enter some more text in that field. Now that I have several boxes made, say that I want to join them with arrows, I would click on the upper left in the arrows box, and then you'll notice when I mouse over a particular box, I now get these red handles. I click on one of them and draw to the corresponding handle on the next box. The same thing can be repeated again just by going back, clicking on arrow again, choosing my start spot, and dragging over to where I want it to connect. Those are the basics. You can also click on a box and change the font color within it. You can change the line color up here in the upper left or the fill color if you want them to be different depending on the meaning that you're trying to communicate. It's also important to know that you can create drawings from within the other Google Apps um, applications. For example, here in a presentation, I can go to the insert menu on the upper left, choose drawing. I get the same basic interface and when I say save and close it will become an image within my presentation. Same thing if I were to open a spreadsheet or a document you can see that I have a variety of different um, drawings here. This one is a separate drawing as is this green one and the blue one. Hopefully not belaboring the point excessively but if I go to file new choose a document I can also use that insert menu in the upper left to insert a drawing in a document after I've made my graphic organizer or my drawing and I say save and close, it does become an image within that document. 
And those are the basics of how to create a Google Drawing. This is Liz Walhoff from the Cantrell Building in Douglas County School District, and this has been another DCSD On Demand video tutorial.